Hey English, Bill Scott of Florida Bass Paddler. In this episode, I want to do something a little different. Um, I've done product reviews, I've done fishing videos, but one of my friends said to me one day, hey numbnuts, you're doing these videos and you're fishing and you're catching, but you really don't spend any time on the techniques you're using. Feedback like that is constructive criticism. I appreciate that. And you know what? He's right. So, he gave me a secret spot to fish. Apparently there's peacock in here. So we're gonna go fishing for peacock. And I'm gonna use two of my more common techniques for catching them, one of which is the top water and one of which is the subsurface. Will it work? I hope so, because I need footage for this video so I get them off my back. Stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, one. this little slice of heaven in Miami which is a, a spot that's hush so I figure I'd come out here apparently there's some peacock in here and I'm gonna be using two techniques to try to find them um, the weather is still in the 70s in the morning so again it's the, the peacock are still gonna be active um, normally their bite slows down a little bit with the Florida winter when it gets colder um, right now we're still having some hot days the cooler weather is yet to come um, at launch today 72 degrees uh, five mile per hour winds out of the west northwest but there's a lot of canals and, and and finger lakes coming off this area so we should have some protection second setup i'm going to go with today is a rapala ripstop um, i love throwing jerk baits for peacock especially the hard uh, harder baits um, I'm throwing it on a seven foot medium action spinning rod um, it does have some backbone to it but the tip is nice and soft allows me to really get that bait to dig down and and do what it's supposed to do to trigger those strikes I'm actually only using a 10 pound braid no leader people think I'm crazy some people say don't use leader some people say you have to use a leader I prefer not to. I haven't had many break-offs other than snakeheads with some of my soft plastic frogs, but overall I just love this combo um, for throwing the lighter baits. I've said that in previous videos, so I'm going to show you now how I retrieve this bait. Alright, so here's where I let you in on a little secret. Um, how I retrieve it. This is the retrieve I started using with my soft plastic pile tails for snook. And really, it's to the rhythm of the song Touch Me by The Doors. Yes, I know that seems crazy. So I'm just gonna cast that bait out at my target and jerk that rod to the rhythm of The Doors Touch Me. I know it's stupid. I know that may be annoying, but that's what works for me. I've caught a lot of fish that way. I don't know why, but Sometimes having a rhythm in your head for how you want to re retrieve that bait will help you stay consistent. Of course, I'm not making I'm not making it sound. I'm not singing it when I'm doing it, but that's how I'm that's how I'm retrieving this bait. As far as this bait, I would rather cast it parallel to targets such as docks, uh, ledges, uh, parallel to like underwater structure of a fallen tree or submerged. Um, pine that may have come off a pine uh, excuse me a palm tree that may be laying in the water it just works what i like best about these baits is i will always use a suspending so if i stop that bait will sit right in the water if i see a wake come at it but it's maybe a fish that's curious but not ready to take i'll stop and having that suspending bait will just tantalize them to hit them so it's it it works so again you can use whatever slash baits or rip baits whatever you want to call them then i prefer the rapala rip stop it's just caught me a lot of fish so that's my secret retrieve to this guy let's see how this does today There we 
we go. Oh boy. Another beast. Man, strong fish, big mad male. He wanted that bait, he got it. Let's get him back in the water. Wow, what a day. So the first technique I'm gonna talk about is my top water. And you've seen maybe in my other videos, I've used a lot of prop baits, um, winds picking up. Recently, I've had a lot of success on a uh, pencil bait by Yozuri, the 3DB pencil bait. What I'm using is a 6 foot 11 frog rod. This is the Falcon Cara Jason Christie series frog rod. It's a heavy action, but it has a very soft tip. And why I like this rod is because A, it's got a lot of backbone. So if I'm getting a feisty fish like a peacock or a snakehead in your structure, it's got enough backbone to steer that fish out of there and, and get it out into open water we have less of a chance of it breaking off but the tip is nice and soft um, while yes I've used this for frogs I love it for anything I have to pop on the surface like a popper or a prop bait or something nice and soft to allow me to walk the dog let me show you how I use this bait so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bait cast at my target reel in that slack and slowly reel and pop the rod tip in series of three. One, two, 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 three. You could change it up as much as you want. You can go faster, you can go slower. It all depends on what's gonna get the strikes. Again, this is just what I do. There's no, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, of course. This is just how I work it. Or sometimes I'll go series of two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And that bait starting side to side. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. You could change it up. It's basically that's how I'm working it. I'm using a 17 pound braid with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's a thinner leader, I know, but again, I like a little bit of stretch. Some people don't even like a leader, but I like some stretch. I'm using a Shimano Curado 200 HG. It's one of their older series. Um, I prefer a ratio of seven, two to one. I don't like to go too much like an eight to one because you're really putting some stress on that fish and you're gonna tear that hook right out of its mouth, so. One, two, 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 three, one, two, three, et cetera. It's that simple. Again, it takes some practice, so you're gonna have to slowly crank that slack line in in case you do get a strike, so that, that line is nice and tight. So when you set the hook, you're not pulling up slack and you're getting all full force on the hooks of setting the hook on that fish. So again, you have to set yourself up to sweep to the side and slowly reel in that slack line. Again, I am no professional angler, so if I can do it, you can do it. The reason I prefer the Yozuri just has a nice sound to it. When the bait's going back and forth, there's some internal rattles inside and it just makes such a great sound. I love it. It's only four inches, but it's got some great weight to it and it casts a good distance. So it'll be able to cover some water. Again, you can find what rod works for you. Um, the butt on this Falcon rod is not overly long, which is easy. So you're not whacking yourself in the side or in the forearm when you're retrieving the bait. Some people prefer a longer butt 
for leverage to press it against their forearm. I've just been using this rod for years. Uh, it's worked great for me, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. Again, I've landed many, many big fish on this rod and this setup, and it just works. And you could change the retrieve as well. Try two pops, one pop, three pops. Just make sure you're getting that slack line in. Let's see if we can get some fish on this guy today. Oh, wow. Nice hit. Got him. Nice pee. Chunky little peacock. Woo. He's got his uh, nice little hump there. Aggressive. He was around that point. Uh, I was coming up on some vegetation. I sped up the lure and all of a sudden I saw the wake. So he wanted to chase it. So and he got it. He hit nice. Let's get him back in the water. Love these guys. Damn, that just hit the water. Okay. Nice fish. Hit as soon as the lure hit the water. Let's get her back in the water. Wow, he wanted that, three shots. normally use grips on these guys but this guy is particularly feisty so and he had those big trebles in his mouth so look at that fish pretty three times he went up to that top water and he was gonna get it uh, I haven't seen that from a peacock before he came out of the water in the first shot so hopefully the other camera picked it up but nice let's get him back in the water Wow.
guys and that peacock. Beautiful fish. That was a massive hit. Just gorgeous. What a great, great fish. I am blessed to have caught this fish. Mwah. Let's get her back in the water. All right, so basically when I'm working this bait, I'm going to throw it into the trees. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I'm glad this isn't on live Facebook. Come on, come on, come on, come on now.